back. We're uh, in Orange Beach, Alabama. We uh, Today's the 11th, October the 11th. Uh, I had service done on my engines and new battery and a new uh, trim tab motor and blah, blah, blah. Send all contributions to BR549 and we'll put them to good use. But anyway, we're headed out at last. We uh, left here, went to Montgomery uh, a week ago yesterday, who cares, and, and uh, went on to Atlanta and saw our daughter, bless her heart, uh, for uh, two days and left there and went to Savannah and uh, took care of some business and ran back uh, the panhandle of Florida and saw my long lost friends and relatives in the panhandle and here we are and that's enough of that boring stuff. We're headed uh, east today. Uh, got a little bit of a late start, but we're going to probably Fort Walton Beach or somewhere short of that and then work our way down the coast. So, uh, hallelujah, we're back. Sportsman's Marina in uh, Orange Beach, Florida is a great place if you're ever in the area. So, anyway, so much for that. Here Orange Beach is in Alabama. And by the way, we rented a car here in Foley, which is right up the road from us here a little bit. And our trip was 1,331 miles. So we got our usage out of the car. That'll probably make them stop doing unlimited mileage. But Some more right. fun facts. This is NAS Pensacola, Naval Air Station Pensacola, which is the home of the Navy flight training program, Naval Aviation. Every Navy and Marine pilot I think that's ever been has either started here or come through here. But this is headquarters for the flight program and is situated uh, west of Pensacola, which you can see over there on the horizon, right over there. But anyway, we, uh, and by the way, on 10 December 1968, I showed up over here for indoctrination battalion for the Navy flight program. But a lot of water's gone under a lot of bridges since then. We left uh, Orange Beach this morning, went about 10 or 12 miles, and crossed Perdido Bay which is the western boundary of Florida, it, where it meets Alabama. And uh, we're in Florida now and we're headed down, we're going through the armpit down the uh, Gulf Coast uh, of Florida down, we're going to end up going down around the Keys. But uh, just a little update on where we are and uh, kind of the last, get to the last leg of this journey, but uh, we're now in Florida headed south. A tidbit of information, I just came back to me a while ago when we came under that drawbridge. See that drawbridge is torn down, that new big bridge is built. When I was over here in the service, a Medal of Honor winner, Major Stephen Pless, uh, flew 780 helicopter combat missions in Vietnam, tried to jump that drawbridge and was killed right there. It was just such a tragic shame and he had just come back from uh, from uh, Vietnam and, and was in charge of the PE uh, uh, staff in, in NAS Pensacola in the training command. He was killed right there. Tried to jump the bridge. I think he might have been a little messed up. Right, this is uh, the evening of October the 11th and this is Nav Navarre Beach which is about probably 15 or 20 miles east of Pensacola before we get to Fort Walton Beach and this is right at the foot of the bridge and it's a pagoda or whatever you call it and there's some big old, I got to do this because I'm charging my iPad so just forgive me big condos right there in the Gulf is right over there on the other side of those condos and this is a place where this guy likes loopers and uh, we're tied up here tonight free free is real good with power we got power in the pole right there. So plugged our little motel in and here we are. It's quite a change from the Tom Bigby waterway. Right, here we are, in, Jenny, say hello. In Navarre, Florida on the Gulf of Mexico. This is beautiful water that's typical of the Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast is generally, in my opinion, uh, prettier than the Atlantic Ocean. The water's clear, the beaches are, are uh, sand whiter. We're uh, tied up at a little dock right over there. The guy let us stay for free by that bridge, but free is still good. There's big condos through here. This is just beautiful. They're having some kind of little Saturday morning, by the way. October the 12th, I think. Is it 12th? Yeah, I think so. Have some little kids fishing tournament. But 
Here it is, we're gonna strike out in about 45 minutes and head east. Another little shot of this pier I'm walking down. This is the longest pier, according to what Jenny said, in the Gulf of Mexico. It's just packed, folks. I've seen one fish strip of land here. It is uh, Santa Rosa Island. It runs up to Pensacola. I don't know how long it is. If you look on a map, it's just a thin strip of land between the Gulf of Mexico and the bay over there. Kind of interesting. Very thin. You can see it. We're on a 16-mile canal at the west end, east end of the of the Chihuahua Bay. I don't know if I pronounced that right. It's got 50 letters in it, but Chihuahua and this we're headed, we're headed toward Panama City, and this will end up um, in West Bay, and then we have about 20 miles to Panama City. But these, uh, this is a dug canal, and, and uh, it's in the Panhandle of Florida. It's, looked at it on the map; it looks like just a little stream running through here. But just a little geographical update. Got to give you a timeline. It's uh, October the 13th, Sunday morning. We're underway. Ought to be in church, but we couldn't find one. Tuesday, um, October 15th, and this is a very unusual place. We're on a cut that goes from uh, Panama City. We're headed to uh, Apalachicola today. And uh, this is called White City. And they're going along this canal out here. And they've built this facility here, very nice facility for bass fishermen and whatever and how we got in here last night and, and hooked up and there was free dockage, free power, which is very nice. So we had our little motel plugged in. This highway bridge right here is 71. If you go north, it goes to Bluntstown. And if you go south, it goes to Port St. Joe. But we were glad to find this little refuge. We're gonna leave here in a few minutes and head on. We'll go to Apalachicola today and. Carabelle tomorrow, and then we'll strike out across the Gulf to Steen Hatchie. A little uh, anticipation there. Just to Wednesday, October the 16th. It's about 10 o'clock. We started to stay there last night, but we didn't. Just kidding. This is a little municipal dock. We're in Apalachicola, Florida, in the Panhandle, and we uh, we're, we're our goal is Key West, so we're going to have to crawl down the west coast, and uh, a lot of people just fire straight across to Tarpon Springs, which is about a 150 mile trip. I wouldn't do that on a bet. We're, so we're going to leave here and go out, i got to shoot through the cabin, and go out uh, across the uh, 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 bay. We're not going outside right now, there's a, a strip of land between us and the bay. We're going to Carabelle spend the night there. Then we're going to uh, St. Mark's, kind of 20 miles away from Carabelle. And then Steen Hatchie, and from there we're not sure, but uh, about one thing, I'll be watching the weather. But that's gonna take care of this little part of our trip. Uh, it's in big water now, but we need it's that. It's Thursday, October the 17th, Jenny's birthday. Happy birthday, Jenny. We're in Carabelle, Florida. And uh, this is where the intercoastal stops. This is a combination of New River and Crooked River run together and run out here in the Gulf. But I'm gonna wrap this video up and uh, we stayed here last night and saw an old cousin of mine that I hadn't seen in 40 years. Um, it's great to see her. Uh, we're gonna leave here. This is. We're going to get in the Gulf today. We're going to run from here to Steen Hatchie, which is about 65 miles. Have a little apprehension about getting out in totally unprotected waters, but the conditions are perfect for us, so it shouldn't be an issue. We'll uh, run out uh, the pass here, they call it, and get in the Gulf, and we're going to leave about an hour and head to Steen Hatchie. Be in Steen Hatchie in a couple hours. I'm going to run it. I'm not going to crawl out there. I want to get this Gulf little run behind me. So, should be no problem, but I'm going to send this out now if I can get me a decent signal. So, I know it's been a long time since you saw a video and hope you're coping with it. This video covers from Orange Beach, Alabama after our 1,300 mile road trip to Carabelle, Florida.